She said I won't be back in a while Don't wait Already packed her bags Called the cab Made space And she said I won't answer If you call me when you're lonely I guess I'll let her go Never mind Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another home vlog. But I'm really excited for today. I've just cut my hair and I thought we could go upstairs in a little bit and then like brush up the curls and then do it properly. But I've put this cute top on because it's such a nice day today. And although the temperature may say otherwise, <laughs> I'm feeling very spring and I really can't wait though yesterday Bradley said to me apparently we're gonna have another like really cold bit at the end of Feb beginning of March but just try not to think about it he said it could get to minus 10 but I'm not sure he said he read an article I'm not sure how much I believe the article because <laughs> I'm hoping and praying the sun and spring and I can't wait. I hope you guys are all doing really well. So in today's video, I have some exciting little bits that I wanted to do with you. Bradley got me these gorgeous flowers. So I need to put them in the vase. Um, I put water in them yesterday, but I like to like display them properly as you guys know. I feel like at this point, every vlog, I'm like, oh, new flowers. But these are my Valentine's flowers. So these are acceptable. And my cute little Valentine's slash spring wreath that I absolutely love. Me and Bradley went to Ikea last weekend and I picked up some really cute things. So I thought I could show you because have I done an Ikea haul? I don't think I have. It's stuff that I needed. I've also got some house updates that I wanted to show you. I'm just feeling really good. But first things first, I'm hungry. It is half 11, so it is technically morning, but until this is finished, it will then be around 12 and I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> I'm just so hungry. So I thought we could make a really nice, like healthy lunch. I'm gonna make a pizza and wedges. Doesn't sound healthy, but it is. So I like to do like the pizza wrap, so I can show you guys how I do it. And then I'm also gonna do air fry wedges. So I'm very excited about that. So I think first things first, let's do that. Put the flowers out, put the flowers in the beautiful vase, and then we can go upstairs and then finish getting ready for the day. Because these little clips, <laughs> I'm really a vibe. So to start off, I am gonna make some wedges. I literally just pop them in the air fryer. It is so easy. And then I season them and then add the one cow spray. Um, but looking at them, these are a few days old and they've got like the little horrible roots things growing out of them. <laughs> so I need to give them a wash, cut out that, and then I can pop them in the air fryer. Around 10 homemade wedges is around 100 calories. So I might make a little bit extra then Bradley can have some when he's home from work. And then once over, we can make the pizza wrap together. That only takes 10 minutes in the oven. So let's go. wedges in the air fryer i put quite a lot in like i said because Bradley can snack when he's home but for the pizza so i use a wrap and then you can literally do any toppings of your choice um just a disclaimer i am going to talk about calories and i'm also going to weigh it i'm in a calorie deficit at the moment and these are just things that i have to do in order to lose weight but i still love my food and i love to have things like pizza and stuff like that um, so I don't want to restrict myself from having it. So these are the kind of like precautions that I have to take. So if this is triggering to you in any way, shape or form, I will not be offended if you click off or skip it a little bit because I am going to be weighing the cheese and stuff like that. So yeah, just a disclaimer. Um, but what I'm going to do is I always use the Weight Watchers wraps. I find them really tasty and they're really low in calories. So all you do is get a wrap and then you pop some passata on the bottom. I do around 40 grams, which is quite a lot, but I like it to be quite like thick and saucy. So I use this and the garlic one is my favorite. Um, and then I put cheese on. So I usually do around like 30 to 40 grams of cheese. I already grate it, which just makes it so much easier for me. Um, and then I spread this. So this is the laughing cow, like light cheese. I kind of spread it around after I put the cheese on and it kind of goes like mozzarella. Honestly, you guys, this is so nice. Um, and then I top it with ham and mushroom and then pop it in the oven for 10 minutes. And then when I take it out, I cut up some spring onion and put it on top and it's that easy.
what's it like to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh i'm thinking about him i have got him on my mind but he doesn't know my name man i'm running out of time i wish he felt the same and i'm acting stupid like every day don't know what to do or what i should say lunch um i vlogged it all so all together this is 419 calories um so i've got 10 wedges and then the pizza wrap and it is so filling and so tasty so i highly recommend it and then i also put the nando's peri salt on which makes it 10 out of 10 although i haven't logged that but it's fine okay so i've just eaten my lunch it was so nice i am so full now i usually have the pizza with like a packet of crisps on the side like a packet of what's it on the side or something um but today i felt like wedges it was so nice but i think i'll have it on days where i'm like having a lighter dinner if that makes sense because it is quite filling but it was really nice so i'm really excited to say that this portion of today's video is really kindly sponsored by foxy locks you guys know i love and adore foxy locks with all of my heart i've worked with them for so long now they are my favorite hair brand company and i love to share with you guys all of their exciting products because i love and use them every single day so this is the most authentic collaboration and the most asked questions i always get are about my hair it's a win-win so i posted a tiktok of me curling my hair just now with the foxy locks gold plated titanium curling wand if you're looking for a curling wand that actually holds curls not only for the day but for like a couple of days as well guys honestly you need to try this because of the gold plated titanium barrel don't know what it is the curl just holds my top tip would be when you let go leave it in your hand for a little bit it also comes with a glove leave it in your hand for a little bit to cool down before dropping it but honestly you get the most amazing curls and this is literally my signature look so i curled it maybe an hour ago now and um, i always put these clips in because these are like the no bend ones so like if i put it in my hair it won't like kink my hair and i kind of do it on my fringe bit because um, I like these swoopy bits and then I'm going to pop some oil in it now to brush it out. I've had this oil for the longest time. This is the Gold Luxury Hair Oil. I wish you guys could smell this. Loads of you messaged me who have bought this using my discount code have said to me, oh my god, the smell of this is amazing. It's got keratin, collagen and also argan oil infused. It's, it is to die for honestly this hair oil is amazing and it smells the same as their shampoo and conditioner so when you use all the products together you will smell amazing i get so many compliments on the scent of my hair like whenever i meet people and like i hug them they always say to me oh my god your hair smells amazing i get it all the time and i'm always like it is the foxy look products they really do make a difference and this oil adds the most lovely shine and you can use it as like a heat protectant as well and then to brush up my curls i love to use this this is the foxy looks comb i've actually got a couple of these these are perfect to fit in your handbag <laughs> they're amazing because they're really thin obviously this will brush them up without making the curls go frizzy it doesn't ruin the actual shape of the curl and it obviously brushes your hair as well um so yeah this is a staple for me as well and then obviously i wish this was my natural hair <laughs> this isn't my natural hair but i use the foxy locks tape so i've had these in for months now i'm trying to think when i first got these in literally as soon as they launched but it has been months and months these tape hair extensions last at least a year at least a year but like, can you believe that and the quality hasn't changed on them that's also a question i get everyone's always like do your tapes like are the quality a bit weird after a while they really aren't so as you can see the tapes are really discreet um, i have a full head of them and these are the shade cocoa i have the 26 inches 
each time we obviously get them refitted they're really like cut into my hair um so usually they are a little bit longer and this is the perfect shade for me again i always get asked from you guys what color do you dye your hair i don't actually dye my hair although i did find a gray hair the other day <sighs> you know 25 soon i actually i really can't believe it <laughs> I said to Bradley, I feel like when you get to 25, I just feel a lot older. And I think the years are going to go a lot faster. I'm 25 next month. Can't believe it, but yeah. Did find a grey hair the other day. Was very upset, but we move. It's fine. It happens. It's all part of ageing. But yeah, the colour cocoa is perfect. It's also the same shade with the clippings, if you're interested in clippings and not the tapes. And also like the ponytail and stuff. So yeah, the shade Coco is perfect to me. Um, so you can use my code Amy Rose, and you'll get 10% off everything from Foxy Locks. And they also really kindly gave me a bigger discount code off the tape. Can you believe it? So if you use the code Amy Rose Tape 15, you'll get 15% off the tapes. I can't, I wish you could fill my hair because the quality of this, it is the softest hair and so many of you messaged me on Instagram saying you bought the hair, you can't believe how amazing the quality is and it's going to last so long. You really do get your money's worth. If you try and go somewhere cheaper, you buy it. You're going to be buying new extensions really soon. These last at least a year. I've had them in for a few months and they feel exactly the same. Like they are so soft. I also use the Foxy Lock shampoo and conditioner as well, and then obviously the oil and stuff. So using all of their products make the make the extensions last so much longer. They're so shiny and glossy and soft. They never matte, they never go like dry or anything. Just taking really good care of them really do help, and I know you guys are gonna love them. And so many people that I know always go for like longer hair in the spring summer. So it's the perfect time to top up on your Foxy Locks tape hair extensions. And yeah, they are so seamless. I can also put my hair up in a ponytail. Obviously, if I do it neatly, but you guys kind of get the gist because of the tapes, and obviously they've been put in professionally. But like if I have my hair up, you can't see it. So I can still have my slick like bun and ponytail and stuff. And you really can't see it. They are so seamless. It's crazy. There's a helicopter so close. So yeah, I'll pop a link to Foxy Lux in the description box down below. Don't forget my code is Amy Rose and that is 10% off everything. And then my code for the tape pair is Amy Rose Tape 15 and you'll get 15% off the tape. Which is amazing. And yeah, they are going to last so long and they are the best quality extensions i've ever used i also love how they're just thick at the bottom as well like they don't go thin they're really thick and just high quality i love it so yeah thank you to them for partly sponsoring this portion of today's video i would have also popped some tiktoks up of my hair and um, also a reel and some stories and all that kind of stuff so if you guys don't follow me over on my instagram and my tiktok make sure you do i'm trying to get into tiktok <laughs> i don't i just feel like it's taken me a while but i'm getting there i'm getting there i'm I am enjoying it. Anyway, I'm gonna film some reels really quickly now, and then we can go downstairs and I can show you guys the little house updates and the stuff that I got from Ikea because I know you guys are gonna wanna see that because I got some really lovely things. So I have just filmed some reels for my Instagram, obviously, because that's where reels are, Amy. Uh, but I'm also gonna upload them as TikToks. And I've just put this like cozy lounge rest on. What is that? Oh, <laughs> it's from a parcel. I was thinking, why is my foot bleeding? That's so funny. But yeah, I've just put this cozy lounge rest set on, which I'm not gonna lie, needs an iron, but it's fine. Um, I think I actually got this in Spain when me and Bradley went away. I don't know where it's from. Do any of you guys recognize this brand? I'm not sure, but um, I think we got it in Spain or Tenerife. It was somewhere like that when we went on the cruise last year. So I love it. It's really nice. It's a nice spring transitional piece because it's like three quarter sleeves and it's a little bit thinner, but it's really comfortable. Um, and I really like the material and it's like ribbed as well. Um, and I like the oatmeal-y color. So this is really comfy and I've just popped on an H&M vest with it. So I'm feeding very comfy. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up from my IKEA fair and then we can just Play it. I'm so excited because this has been sitting here for a few days and I haven't been able to touch it because I just wanted to like show you guys obviously so I'm gonna pop links to it all in the description box down below in case you guys wanted to shop so we did pick up two furniture pieces which we have built and displayed so I'll show you guys that after and then in here are the little things that you pick up do you know when you're shopping and you're like oh I like that I like that pick that and then you're like okay I've got quite a lot now I, I just love Ikea Ikea to me when I was younger because we didn't always live in Brighton I actually used to live in Kent in Dartford and there was an Ikea in Lakeside um that's my favorite Ikea we went to the Croydon one Ikea in Lakeside I don't know what it is it's 
there's something about it that I just love. Um, and we used to go there like at least once a week when I was younger. It was like a fun day out. And the meatballs were really cheap for my mum. For like us kids, I think it was like one pound or something. So she said sometimes it was cheaper for her to go there to get us dinner than it was to like actually make dinner. Um, and we just loved it. And I think I love Ikea so much. And I get so excited every time we go and that I now like go with Bradley I always say to him like did you used to go loads as a kid and he was like we went but like not as much as you did and I view it really differently so let me know in the comments did you go to Ikea like a lot when you were younger does it make you feel really like nostalgic as you're older I just I love it like going there doing like the top floor then we go get meatballs and then we go downstairs oh I just love it um anyway this is something i think this was like three pounds it was like one pound or three pounds i can't remember um, but it was definitely under five pounds and this is a laundry basket this is so easy for me and bradley because obviously our washing machine is downstairs when we're like going up and down the steps i know it sounds silly we have the basket and stuff but i just think it'll be easier having this and it opens as well so technically we kind of should have got a few and put them in our airing cupboard upstairs and then like done like lights, colours, darks. I feel like we should have done that. Oh well, I can get it next time. But yeah, I mean, not the most exciting thing I must say. Next up, I picked up one of these. These are so handy to have in your fridge, either like ooh, with um, water or sometimes I put like ginger and lemon and stuff in them. Although at the moment I've been putting my ginger and lemon in like in the little shot um, bottle things. But yeah, these are just really handy to have. I feel like I always use them and need them. I picked up quite a few vases. As you guys know, especially if you watch like all my vlogs, I like when it comes to like spring, summer, I'm such a huge fan of flowers and arrangements, whether it's like faux flowers, or real flowers. I'm constantly buying them and displaying them because I just feel like they make your house really spring. And as you guys know, you can probably see our house is very simple. So it's so nice to add like color and stuff. So I love getting plain vases. This is a really nice white ribbed one. And I think this was like £10. Because the prices don't have it on it, I'm just going to pop links to them down below in the description box so you guys can see. For our sofa, I picked up this blanket. This is so soft. And the quality of this is unreal. That is the name of it, by the way. Oh my god. I cannot wait to make the sofa look really nice and cosy. But like, cosy for more springtime. Do you know what I mean? I just, I love it. So this, I think it's gonna go with like the footstool and stuff and we can make it all nice and cozy. Speaking of flowers, um, they have the nicest flower like display and they've made it look like a florist. It looks insane, full of fake flowers. So I picked up these gorgeous tulips, which I thought were absolutely adorable. And even in like the vase, obviously taking the little wrapper off is so lovely. And then I also picked up these flowers. I'm not gonna pretend I know the names to them because I don't. I just know that they look really cute. Um, and these were like, I think they were like 350 each or 250 each, maybe 350 each. So really cute. I mean, I wouldn't say they're the most affordable faux flowers, but they look really lovely. They're like similar price to TK Maxx and stuff, I think. Because usually they're like 3 99 or 2 99 like for a stem. But I thought I could make a cute display. Even like adding the tulips in or something will look really cute. So I picked those up. These, if you follow Stacey Solomon, she, I think they're called Fedchka. Fedchkas? Um, they remind me of her. <laughs> but I got this gorgeous pot. And I thought for one of our bathrooms, this is so lovely. So I picked up that. I always see it every time I go to my Q&A. I never, I never get it. And then I thought, why am I not getting it? I picked up three of these bags. Now, these are amazing. If you don't know about these, get to know. Because, oh my God, these are like the strongest bags ever. And because obviously spring is around the corner. And I know I talk about spring a lot, but I'm just over winter and I'm so excited. I got these so I can be prepared when I clean out my wardrobe. And we can put these in the loft full of like my winter clothes. So you can fit so much in there. It's just so much better than bin bags. Because bin bags rip and you can actually see like the clothes and stuff in here as well, which is really good. And obviously they're not just for clothes. You can use them for anything you want. So I got three of those. I thought I got two. And then she scanned three and I was like, okay, guess I'm cleaning that lot more clothes. 
but I think that is very needed. These, I remember seeing these online like a couple of months back when I like started doing my baked oats and I was like, how do I get these without going to Ikea? I couldn't. I don't even think I could order them online at that point. Maybe they were out of stock. Um, but these, I am obsessed. As you guys know, I love like the ribbed scalloped kind of look. Um, and these pots are the perfect size for baked oats. Obviously you can use them for other things, but instantly that came to my mind and I was like, okay, this is perfect. So I'm going to start doing baked oats in them. I actually need to buy protein. We don't have any protein because I want to start putting protein in the baked oats. So I spoke to you guys a while ago about our front room and the curtains that we currently have. This was one of those things that I, I could have gone online and immediately bought different coloured curtains. I didn't. I thought I may as well wait till I go to Ikea because they're the cheapest there. They're the highest quality there. I may as well wait. So our sofa is a lovely like light beige colour obviously I'll show you guys in a second but you know what it looks like and the curtains are a little bit darker and we got the curtains when we first moved into the house love them but they are like shorter and I wanted curtains that brighten the room up that actually went with the sofa because of the colour difference it looks a little bit off so I went for these and I think they were either 27 or 35 pounds each I can't remember um but these I think it was 27 this is the name where is it that is the name of it. It's that upside down. <laughs> there you go. That is the name of the curtains. Honestly, the quality of these are insane. Do you know when you go to Ikea and they're all like hung up? I felt them all before I looked around just so I knew exactly the ones that I wanted. And these were exactly the ones I wanted. I saw some for £10 each and I was going to get them. And we have those ones in our bedroom. But they're like sheer. And sometimes like on a Sunday we want like curtains that really do like stop the natural light and we thought those are perfect and really nice for like spring summer as well to lighten the room a little bit this is the cutest pot i've ever seen can you even do it's like little polka dots and then the edge is like scalloped i thought that's such a nice little pot and um, i picked up some candles these are the vanilla ones two of these for a pound which is so good love the smell of them um another vase this was like one pound how good is that and i think we actually have this maybe it's upstairs um, but I thought I'd pick up another one because, as you guys know, I'm always getting fake flowers and stuff. And I wanted some nice vases. These are like the handiest adult purchase to make. I don't even know what they're called. But they basically, like, if, say if you open like a packet of popcorn and you don't want it to go stale, you just put one of these around it. Like you clip it and it seals it, which is handy. This is for the microwave. To be honest, I don't really know why we got one. Because Bradley's mum and dad has one. <laughs> so I was like, Bradley, do we need one? But I've never really used it before, so. <laughs> I mean, if you go to Ikea and you don't pick up one of these, how? This is like a tradition that I have. I have to pick up these. They are so nice. And in the car journey home, me and Bradley were trying to eat them, but like take the chocolate off around the edge without breaking the caramel bit in the middle. It's hard, but we did it. You know, fun task on the drive home. And um, I picked up this really nice, like aesthetic pizza roller. There we go, you can see like the color of it. The color of it's really nice. So I picked up that. Obviously we got two sets of curtains because we have two windows in here. This is for Bradley and this is an apron, which is so cute. Cause he's, I'd say Bradley actually cooks more than me because for him it's become more of a hobby. Like he'll come home from work and I'm like, oh, I'm cooking tonight. And he'll go, no, 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 I want to cook. And I'm like, okay. So we got him that apron. Lint rollers and refills, um, another candle and another one of these. And that was everything that we picked up. And then I'll show you guys the furniture bits um, in a second, but I think first we should put the curtains up because I have been dying to do this. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, I've been dreaming now about you. Every night I see your clearest day. It's just something about the way you make me feel. Cause I can't concentrate anytime you're beside. It 
feels so much like bigger and brighter in here. I love it. I think I'm gonna keep these obviously. And then when it gets to like winter time again, autumn, winter, um, I can put these up because these ones are better. Like they're a bit thicker, so we'll keep everything a little bit warmer. But for now, I'm so happy with them. I'm so happy I went for these um, and the color of them are just so lovely. And yeah, like I said, if we come back here, you can see it just brightens up the room. I need to do Mrs. Hinch's trick and get toilet, the toilet roll like tubes and then put them through the top of the curtain poles and then it makes it the perfect pleats. So I need to do that, but I'm so happy with them. I Yay! Sorry, what is this part of my house that I haven't shown you guys before? <laughs> so, if you guys remember, in this corner, so like the front door's here and as you walk in here, we used to have a triangle like floating shelf. Um, when we first moved in, it was like mirrored and then I put like a sticker over it to make it look wooden. And it was good, but it was just wasted space because inside it were just old letters do you know like little bits and bobs and you're like why why is that there it doesn't really need to be there we needed to utilize the space more we haven't got the biggest house ever so we thought actually all of our shoes were like lined up here sorry about the boxes they are some <laughs> packages that i've received so we thought okay let's get a shoe cabinet and then a mirror um, and then we can make it look really nice and i've just put that little flower display over here and then we've still got the wax melt i do want to get a new one but it just smells really nice when people walk in so yeah this is the cabinet that we got from ikea i actually built it and it was really easy bradley did help me at the end but <laughs> it was very simple um and this is really good because it's like a double one so you can put like double shoes in which is so handy so there's two of them it's really nice quality um, and then my little flower display we've got some pictures up here i need to reprint these because i printed them out too big as you can see um oh no sorry nola <laughs> nola and hucks um yeah the pictures are actually too big for the frames so I need to reprint again. Oh my God, um, I've just popped that there for now. Um, and then over here, we've got a mirror, which is really easy because when we're like walking out the house, do you know when you wanna like quickly check your outfit? It's just quite nice to have that. So we got this mirror again from Ikea. So I'm very happy with it. And yeah, this is like a corner that we spoke about doing for so long and we finally did it and it just feels really nice. Although Bradley does every day this week that he's come home from work, he's put his shoes on the floor. And I'm like, we literally bought a shoe cabinet for this very reason, because I trip up on your shoes, so just put them away. And he was like, yeah, hasn't done it yet. <laughs> Such a nightmare. So my sister is coming around, I think in like an hour. Um, but something I wanted to do with you guys, and I think I'll have to do it when she's here as well, which is obviously fine, is I wanted to make bread with you. So, I mean, I wouldn't really class this as making bread. I thought for my start of my baking bread journey this is um a good alternative maybe i don't know i don't know how well this is going to go but you know i thought it could be quite tasty and something different and i saw it in tesco's and i thought i want to try it my cousin actually bakes sourdough and he does like his own like base for pizza and stuff like that an actual like sourdough bread and i think he sells it it's the nicest bread i've ever had um and me and Brady are gonna go and see them on the weekend so i'm really excited to have some I mean, I hope he makes it. And Bradley wants to learn how to do it as well. So I think we're going to kind of like ask for tips and stuff. So don't judge. This is the start of our baking sourdough journey. Apparently baking bread is ridiculously hard. But I'm just going to start with this. And I think you have to leave it out for two hours. This is what it looks like. <laughs> this is the sourdough bread dough. Um, I got it in the freezer section in Tesco's, so I'm just excited for the house to smell of freshly baked bread. Um, it's really easy, so you defrost the dough in the wrapper, defrost in the fridge overnight, or at room temperature for at least, okay, it's four hours, not two, but I mean, we're still going to do it. Um, for four hours, as the dough comes to life, you'll notice it's rise and grow a little, this is completely normal. Two, you shape. Three, you place. Four is rise, then you preheat the oven, then you bake it. Then it's done. So 
so four hours okay let's set a timer okay so these are gonna rise we've got four hours i've asked our friend over here i'm not gonna say it because i know a lot of you have them <laughs> and every time i've spoken to it yours has gone off and um, so i've put a four minute four minute four hour timer on we're gonna watch these rise and then i mean it's very simple it's basically just popping it in the oven but i'm excited to you know have bread I can see you in front of me All I do is close my eyes And you're just standing there with your perfect smile Ooh, All I do is close my eyes I'm just about to put on, as you guys can guess <laughs> Because this is literally my favourite series I've ever watched Ever, isn't it Luna? Modern Family it's all I watch. Let me just turn that down. Um, I was just sitting here and my mum FaceTimed me and stuff and I was just going through this and this I done last summer. So I actually have the Instax, it's called like mini printer or something. And you literally just charge it here and then you open the back. I can do it now because the film's all finished. You just buy the films. I mean, they're really expensive. It's like £10 for 10 so you essentially you're paying one pound for one of these but it's all the memories isn't it so yeah i bought this little case from amazon and i got it for my holidays last summer um and i just thought i'd show you because this is so cute so this was from our cruise last year um and i done like a little display and it's so nice to actually have like physical pictures to look back on and like some of these pictures you guys haven't seen i love this one of bradley how funny is that um, and I just thought it's so nice. It reminds me of my childhood going through actual pictures. Um, and we went with Bradley's family. Sammy's head's chopped off. But it's just really cute. Oh, I remember this. I think this was like in Tenerife. I need to write where everything was. Um, but I think that was in Tenerife. And we had like hummus and stuff. And it was so nice. And that's a really cute picture. So yeah, it's just so nice to look at. Oh my god, the best paella. That was in Lanzarote. Oh my god, that was insane um some of them are missing i need to put some of them back but this is my favorite picture ever i love how i'm saying this and it's not focusing this is my favorite picture ever of bradley i love it honestly i love it so i want to like put that somewhere <laughs> because it's my favorite i didn't get engaged don't worry there's no ring but we did try on rings um so that was fun because on the cruise ship there was actually like a jewelers and bradley got a ring from his mum and dad for his birthday and we saw engagement rings and I couldn't help myself and then I actually sent this picture to my family pretending that he proposed and it was very funny but I felt too bad <laughs> so quickly I was like it's a joke it's a joke um but it's just so cute <laughs> like to look back on Bradley's mum and dad they're so cute so yeah I obviously have a lot more pictures from this holiday but that's all the film that I had so I need to buy more and then print it out but it's just such a nice thing to look back on i was just looking at it and i thought would you guys want to see i don't know it's just like a nice little thing to have um and this i bought from amazon it looks really nice it looks like a nice like coffee table book um so it's kind of nice to have out and then when people come around you can kind of look so very cute so yeah i'm just waiting for my sister to come and yeah we're just gonna chill and it'll be really nice to do the sourdough in like three and a half hours got a long way to go but i'm really excited it feels so much brighter in here even though it's like a gloomy kind of day today the curtains make the biggest difference ever so i'm very happy with that i just feel like on sunny days when we want to watch a film and it's too sunny i'm not sure how these are going to be so i mean i'll let you guys know we're keeping the other one so i could just swap them it takes two seconds so yeah anyway I'll talk to you guys either when she's here or when we do the bread. Good morning guys. So it's now the next day. Come on then. Just letting the dogs in. Come on, it's a bit windy today. So yesterday my sister came around and I forgot to film. But <laughs> the bread. Okay, so I'm going to show you. We did have a slight problem with it, I'm not going to lie. Um, I basically let it rise for an hour too long. So I googled it and it said if you let it leave to rise like too much it becomes like springy and doughy. I haven't cut it open 
but from the outside <laughs> that is what it feels like so we're gonna open it together and try it so i'm a bit nervous i'm not gonna lie to you here's what it looks like also let's just ignore my appearance i mean i tried to put a little bit of tinted moisturizer on and like done my lips but yeah whatever so i wrapped it in a clean kitchen roll kitchen roll tea towel this is what it looks like guys i mean it smells amazing um my knife wasn't sharp enough to do like the pretty you know kind of like looks i need to get one of those proper ones i mean if i'm gonna take this up professionally which i don't think i am anytime soon um it smells really good okay but where is it there's like parts of it that are a bit springy i don't know so we need to cut it open and then have a look okay i mean it's not bad so i definitely did let it rise for too long um and it does feel a bit stale i don't know if that's because i don't like overnight um i'm not sure i mean it feels nice let's have a little bite i'm a bit nervous if i'm being completely honest i'm not 100 percent hopeful No, I think if that was like toasted and stuff, and if I didn't let it rise for too long, that would actually be really nice. It's got potential, but it was totally my fault. So, yeah. I mean, we tried. Holly's not lost though, because we're seeing my cousin on the weekend. And like I said to you guys, he bakes bread and stuff, like sourdough. So I'm gonna ask him for tips. And Bradley's really interested as well, which makes me feel really happy because we could like start doing it together. <sighs> making sourdough and stuff um, and they've asked me to bring ingredients and teach them how to make the lemon and the lemon <laughs> the lemon and ginger tonic that I do so it's all good I'm excited anyway my lovelies I'm gonna end this video here I've got so much work to do today and then I also need to go to the gym because me and Bradley slept for our alarm we're doing it a lot this week it's not a good week in terms of gym wise like getting up in the morning we need to get back into that routine because I feel like when we go in the morning I'm just so much better like throughout the day and I do loads more steps and stuff like that. Do you guys know what I mean? So we're going to try next week. Our goal is to go to the gym every single morning before work, like to start our day because we just feel the best. And I think it's so important mentally, especially for me and Bradley, when we do that, it's like being strict with ourselves in like a good way, you know, so I'm excited. We're not going to dwell on what's happened in the past. We're going to work on it, focus on the future. And I think that is the main thing. But yeah, anyway, my lovelies, I am going to love you and leave you. Thank you for watching as always and supporting. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel as it will mean the absolute world to me. Let me know if you have any video requests in the comments down below. I want to go to B&M soon. I've seen that they've got some really nice stuff at the moment. So I need to go to B&M soon and get like spring summer stuff which I'm looking forward to. So I thought we could do a little shop there. Yeah, let me know if you have any other video requests in the comments down below. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye! It's what you do.